We started this project approximately four years ago as a way of all uh, healthcare workers to be able to connect with patients. And our motto has always been, healing begins with feeling. And today with Mr. Rodriguez, it's a very special day because it's our 1,000th birthday celebration. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. This project is very unique uh, because it's able to reconnect everybody together and put the patient at the center. This birthday program um, it's so easy, uh, a uh, cupcake, a card, a balloon, uh, it's uh, very small, but it can be huge to the patients and the families. Um, it means to them, I believe, that we care. Well, we want to try to make every patient feel since we think that the fundamental pillars of any relationship are trust and communication, that they matter, that even though they perhaps are going through a critical illness, that they are not forgotten. That we will always uh, aim to cure, but we will always aspire uh, to heal. I think we really believe in Dr. Mehta's healing begins with feeling concept. We all come to med school, I think most of us, if not all, with the idea that we want to help others, help our fellow man. Um, and for me, that empathy, that human connection is what drove me to medicine. Obviously, going through a year of clinics, you sometimes see a little bit more of the negative side of medicine where we become a bit more callous. So today, being able to see um, just the happiness we were able to bring a patient doing something so small, um, but they get to connect with him, see where he came from, see what today meant to him, it really um, reminds us why we came to med school. So I think the medical students are the most important part of this program. Uh, and it's because as we get busy in our career pathways, the medical students are the closest link that we have to what patient care is all about and what, more importantly, healing is all about. And I think that as we go through our career pathways trying to chase the rainbow or the light at the end of the tunnel, sometimes we forget why it is that we decided to become physicians. And I think the medical students are a constant reminder to us that empathy is the key component of taking care of patients. For me, someone who's early on in my medical training, I felt like it was a super unique experience to be involved in during such, you know, an early time when, like we've talked about before, we have faculty who are, you know, trying to teach medical students about empathy and such, and I thought it was a great way to kind of, you know, connect with the patient and also my colleagues. Seeing Mr. Rodriguez when we all came in as a big team, seeing him just smile, um, the way he just lit up from ear to ear was one of the most special moments of my medical school career. It really reminds us that even though we might not be able to help him medically as much, we can still give him hope. We can still remind him that people care for him and that he can trust his medical team. And Mr. Rodriguez is critically ill. This is his third uh, admission to Bentop Hospital. And related to his ultimate outcome and prognosis, uh, he has been uh, very sad. And in talking to the physicians as well as the nursing staff taking care of him, they were very excited that he would be uplifted. But even though we had come in, uh, we couldn't have imagined the type of reactions that he had. We can't always treat each patient medically to full health, but what we can do as physicians in even patients' darkest time is to give hope. And I think in moments like today, we were able to give this patient some hope um, when it might have seemed to him like there, not, there isn't much left. About two years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer and I received three rounds of chemo. I was actually hospitalized for about two and a half weeks. So I can't imagine what it's like staying there for a year. You feel sick, you feel ill, you're on all kinds of medications. I like to think that I can put myself in a, these patients' shoes even just a little bit in terms of understanding kind of what it's like to be in the hospital. The key, I believe, is to make a patient or a family smile. Having the birthday experience makes the patient smile and uh, therefore yeah. make the, makes them feel special. I never imagined we'd get here. We had always been taught you know, to begin with the end in mind and we were very ambitious about this project when we started. But the fact that the thousandth birthday is actually here uh, is very, very meaningful. Yeah. <laughs>